Here today at Stanfield's Restaurant in Rogersville, Alabama, first time meeting Miss Tammy Iron. She is your District 1 State Rep, State Senator. State Senator. State yes. Senator yes. here. You're speaking today about what over here at the Quas Club? They asked me to come speak and inform them on the upcoming vote uh, on September 18th regarding the constitutional amendment. And you're going to tell them all about that now. There can't be but just a very small turnout for this Tammy next week. It will be a small turnout, but the reason it's not being held in the general election is because we have to balance the budget by September 30th. Therefore, the special election, September the 18th. If it fails, that gives us time to go back into special session and balance the budget, which we should have balanced the budget to start with, Jamie. Now, more than likely, that's not going to pass. You know... I think you're probably right. Most, if you look, most constitutional amendments do not pass uh, for whatever reason. Uh, I think there's a lot of problems with the constitutional amendment. Uh, one, there's no payback provision. As you know, if you and I go borrow money at a bank, we've got to pay it back. And our current rainy day accounts do require any funds borrowed from those accounts to be paid back. So you're out to push that to get people out to vote and vote yes for that? Well, here's the, I think there's many problems with the bill or, or the constitutional amendment. That's one, no payback provision. Uh, number two, we're, the one duty that legislators are charged with, that is balancing the two budgets that Alabama has. I think the leadership, the Republican leadership in Alabama failed on that miserably after two years of leadership. We should balance the budget. Instead, they have chosen to put balance in the budget, the hard decisions off on the backs of the people to let them vote whether or not they want to borrow money to fund the budget. There are plenty of things we could have done. As Democrats, we brought forth four or five different proposals to try to balance the budget uh, instead of borrowing the money. I'm a conservative tax attorney, business accountant, and I just think there's plenty of things we could do besides borrowing $500 million from Alabama how, Trust Fund. How tough is it being a Democrat in Alabama, man? Well, you know, I think I think people have seen what's happened under these two years of control by the Alabama Republicans. There's been a lot of wasteful spending, uh, no common sense approach anymore, Jamie. And I think any politician that goes down there needs to take a common sense approach to everything they do. We are passing bad bills one after another without any thought process. A cloture petition, a petition to cut off debate, is filed almost immediately. There's no debate. There was $245 million transferred to our prison system. Immediately, a cloture petition was filed to cut off debate. We couldn't even talk, not one second, about why $245 million should not be transferred to the prisons from our children and from our elderly. All right, they just did the redistricting deal, which Athens now, Limestone County, is a big part of your district. It is. About 49,000 people in Limestone County, about 65,000 in Lauderdale County, and about 22,000 in Madison County. Now, are you happy about this? Well, you know, I'm, first of all, let me say I love meeting people. And I have been very well received in Limestone County, Athens, as well as Madison County. And, I, you know, does it make sense? I, let me tell you the way the Huntsville Times put it. Uh, the editorial, I thought it described it appropriately. It said that Senator Tammy Irons' the Senate district looked like it had been drawn by someone giddy after a couple of glasses of bourbon. <laughs> and that's the be best way I can describe what my district looks like now. But, you know, I believe in helping people. People are the same everywhere. They all have similar needs. And, and I see this as an opportunity to meet more people and to reach out and help more people. Now, in two years, when you're up for re-election, will you stay a Democrat? I will stay a Democrat. I, you know, I don't switch my principles overnight. Uh, I'm a very conservative Democrat, as you and I were talking. I'm a tax attorney, business lawyer. Uh, you know, that right there alone speaks about my how conservative I am. But, you know, I've been very active in creating jobs in the shoals. I carried legislation that saved about 600 jobs this past session for our Walgreens call center. Uh, we established an economic incentive development fund that attracted the rail car plant, which is now going right. to be Navistar. So I'm very pro-economic development. And one thing that concerns me, if this amendment does fail, even though there's many problems with it, if it fails, the only alternative I've heard from the governor and the Republican leadership is Let's merge the Education Trust Fund and the General Trust Fund. We need to get our priorities straight. We don't need to be giving our money to prisoners. We need exactly. to focus on our children. Education 
it solves poverty issues, it helps with economic development. If I'm an owner of a company and I want to locate to the Shoals or Athens or Huntsville, then I want to know that there's a good education system in place, not only for my children, but an educated workforce. So education is where it all starts. You're not at a loss for words, I can tell you that. Well, when can we expect <laughs> to see you down in Athens more? In well, County? actually, I'm headed over there this afternoon to talk with uh, our the tourism uh, director okay. and start Jeanette running Donovan. Yeah. Jeanette Donovan. And, and that's a regular on our program. Well, I'm a huge supporter of tourism. Well, Tan, nice to meet you. Tell Thank Bobby you. I said hello when I you see him and everything, I keep everything going in show. Tammy Irons, your state senator, District 1. Tammy, again, thanks for meeting me. Thank, thank, thank you so you. much, yes, Okay.